The 22nd Women in Management, Business and Public Service, WIMBY's annual conference has come to a close with a clarion call on women to embrace positivity and build resilience. This was the consensus by speakers and discussants at the event. Plus, the correspondent, Love Ikokoyedoko, tells us more in this report. Over 2,000 women from diverse walks of life attended this year's conference. The two-day event afforded the ladies ample opportunity to make new friends, create, recreate, bond, and network with one another. Speaking on the theme, Mission, I Am Possible, Thrive, the executive director of Wimbis, Hansatu Adegbita described it as pertinent. We collectively will thrive because we carry and will carry our seeds with pride. And we cannot afford to allow any of those seeds to die with us. Our seed will ensure, we will ensure that our seeds will not float. Because any seed that is floating is already dead. But we will allow ourselves to dig deep and be planted and see, have root. And because of that truth, we will take possession and try. The women were taking through topics on self-care, personal health, women perennial, values, mentorship, among others. With rapt attention, participants listened as discussants shared compelling, captivating, and alluring personal experiences. We've been raised to believe that taking care of ourselves is selfish. I have been raised in a culture of silence and a culture of giving that I'm supposed to serve, serve my family, serve my husband, serve my children, serve my in-laws, serve everyone except myself. So when women even think about self-care, it seems even selfish, which is something we need to unlearn. It's something we learn, yes, but we need to unlearn it. And it takes you being intentional. Care to me means intentional, personal harmony. It varies from person to person, like she has said. It's a state of balance in your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being when you find that balance. And it's about you. Uh, it's not selfish, like she has said. It's just finding balance, personal, your personal balance. When you look good, you feel good. Wahala no be finish. Wahala no go ever finish. But guess what? When you wake up in the morning, clean yourself up, groom yourself. Even if you can beat your face like my own, do something, try. Just put a little bit of effort into yourself. Invest in yourself. Just the fact that you look in the mirror and that reflection back at you will make you smile. I promise you, it will take you from stress level maybe at a 10, bring it all the way down to about a 5. The second panelist took the women on women perennial, while Ceci Metundu spoke on family business. A five. What I say to women every time, please work and have your own money. Don't mind the cleaning someone's mouth like some videos I see online when they're that way. You know? So those are the two childhood lessons in the decade of birth. You know, it doesn't matter how high you want to go, the higher you want to go, the deeper you must dig your foundation. So what are your, what, first of all, have you defined your vision that is very clear, your mission? What are your values? What culture are you building? What's your DNA? It's been an experience that I will never forget. It's been an experience that I will take back and also go and, uh, should I say, my staff now, they, I, will, I will go back for a training <laughs> back home. to my Because I have about, about six staff with me. So, and I've called one of them today. I told her, come. It's not business as usual. This so, and I've called...
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.